this is my project for the unit circle. And what I did was use an Arduino, and I have a bunch of LED lights that are formed in a circle, and I implement it on a breadboard because I want to reuse the equipment, and I have two buttons. And the way it works is that if you imagine the circle as if on a grid, the cost values are the x coordinates and the y values are the, uh, represents the sign. So what happens is there's a pattern that happens. If you were to find all the sign patterns, they would go vertically, and if you were to find all the cost values, they'd kind of uh, alternate horizontally. So what this does is, if you were to press it, it lights up those buttons to create a nice artistic show with the LEDs. So uh, let's, uh, if I were to press this, that would happen. It repeats three times, and this is what happens for costs. And so this is all programmed on the Arduino, and uh, all these buttons are Arduino material. So I, well, basic math was first I had to like find out all the costs and sign values. And I actually did that by hand because that was part of like the math project. I had to do it so I could understand it and learn it. Once I did that, I created my own circle. And then part of it was like, you see all these little wires that are going into the Arduino? These each represent a pin that gives off a voltage about, I think, 5 volts or 3.3. And what happens is um, you create this. All, while this looks like elaborate, this is just one simple circuit that says that, all right, when the button is pushed, I want you to send a voltage through and tell the Arduino I received a voltage. And when the Arduino says, I received a voltage, I want you to take to that pin number. So like this LED might be pin number zero. It says, all right, pin number zero has an LED. I want you to light it up, and then it lights it up. And so then when you program this all, and I did this where I really had to kind of plan it out because otherwise you would get really confused. So I kind of have a separate sheet with all the pins labeled and which wires are going where. And that way I can know which one lights up. And uh, when you program it, it's easy to follow to see which ones are lighting up very easily. So it did take about seven hours to complete, but it was pretty fun. <laughs>